Told Recon. What's going on, guys? How are we all doing? We are back. We are live. It is the final episode of the EFL season for this year, for the first season, and plenty of more to come for sure. Indeed. Uh, we have obviously got quite a lot to go through today. It is the big one. Obviously, team of the season. A lot of people want to know if they've got themselves into team of the season in the Super League 1 and Super League 2. So, here we go, guys. This is what it's all about. What well, all the hard grinding, team of the weeks, all the graph from the admins putting in all the work in and stuff comes down to the most important bit is now the team of the season section. Boys, I'm going to pass it over to you guys to say hi and go from there. So, obviously, we've got Gaz and we've got Jose in today. So, boys, over to you. You want to go first, Gaza? I don't want you go first. All right, obviously, I'd just like to say thank you for an absolutely brilliant first season in EFL. Obviously, it got a bit ropey with uh, a few bits going on and stuff, but we got there in the end. We got through that first season, and I am absolutely going to put a second one. And that's about all I've got to say about this season, because it's been brilliant. <laughs> very good, very good. I couldn't say it better myself, really. Yeah, I couldn't say it better myself, really. I mean, we've had a bit of ups and downs, like, but other than that, I feel it went really, really well. And uh, move on to season two. Or better season, hopefully. So hopefully, Chelsea can beat Man City this season. If you say so, mate. If you say so. <laughs> wow, well, there's a lot to see, obviously, in the league table that I can see on the screen at the moment. Obviously, Chelsea did finish second above Man City, so there is that little bit of uh, bragging rights between uh, oh, yeah. you, you two at the moment. But on head to head, who had the most wins? We didn't beat them once. And they, they knocked us out of Champions League in the semi final as well. So. Yeah, they can never be us. There you go, then. There you go. The bragging rights yeah. are there. As the great Justin Bieber <laughs> says, mate, never say never. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. That's brilliant. So, obviously, we have a lot to we'll, talk about we'll today. Blame Dan for that. <laughs> what did you say, mate? Sorry. I said we'll blame Dan for his not scoring. <clears throat> I thought you stream right now. That's no. fair. That's fair. <laughs> So yes, obviously a lot to talk about today with obviously team of the season and all that stuff. But obviously we need to go through all the league tables uh, from the Super League 1 and the Super League 2. Let the boys do their talking on bits and bobs and what they thought of the season as well. And then obviously we'll go into team of the season and go from there really. So obviously Super League 1, Atletico Madrid won it with three games to go. Or two games to go, was it, chaps? Yeah, for two games. Two games. Won, won it on the Wednesday. Yes. On the Wednesday. So they won it uh, two games to go. Obviously, they got 44 points, 14 wins, two draws, two losses, scored 45 goals, conceded 15, which is a plus of 30 goal difference, which is an amazing, amazing season, to be fair. Um, congratulations to him, obviously, doing so well with the season, getting only two defeats. Um, obviously, Chelsea in second, 11 wins, one draw, six losses. 42 goals, 29 conceded. Obviously, a little bit ropey at the back compared to going forwards. Obviously, getting a lot more goals, which is very good. Plus 13 goal difference with 34 points joint with Red Bull Leipzig. And just ahead of Red Bull Leipzig, they were by one goal difference, which obviously means a hell of a lot in in football. That one goal difference could have been completely different if they obviously scored one more or two more then it could have been a complete different game. But obviously, Red Bull Leipzig with 34 points in third place. Hibs in fourth place with 10 wins, one draw and seven losses with 31 points. Man City, sorry guys, down in fifth. Nine wins, <laughs> three right. draws, six losses with 30 points. Not far off the pack, only four away from second place. So maybe next season with a bit of recruitment, a bit more... Uh, uh, a bit more training and stuff could be uh, could be good. Chicken, how are you doing, brother? Thank you for noticing the bids on point. Thank you very much, brother. <laughs> um, I would just like to say as well, Man City have qualified for the Champions League. They before have. Winning. They have. Oh, what, sorry, you broke up. Man City have done what? Did you say? Talk about it in a second, anyway. All right. oh, Fair enough, we'll yeah. go on to it. Uh, Real Madrid in sixth spot with eight wins, one draw, nine losses with 25 points. Dortmund, which is obviously a mild team at the very beginning. Um, oh, for the first yeah. couple of weeks, obviously, it went a little bit sideways and folded. Uh, seven wins, one draw, 
10 losses, um, 22 points. Uh, Man United in relegation spot going down, what we love to see. Sorry if anyone's a Man United fan in here. Um, six wins, one draw, 11 losses, 19 points. Barcelona, five wins, zero draws, 13 losses, 15 points. And then Newcastle, two wins, three draws, 13 losses, and nine points. So, obviously, that is the Super League one with the play. The teams going down is, obviously, Man U, Barcelona, and Newcastle. In the Super League 2, obviously, congratulations to Benfica for winning the, winning the Super League 2. Congratulations. Uh, well done to you guys. Obviously, a very close uh, encounter with... The league it was obviously down to the last game of the season. Well, the game that we played against you, obviously, you beat us 2-1, which is a very good game and you well deserved it indeed. Uh, you got the 13 wins, one draw, four losses and coming out with 40 points. Obviously, my team playing for Tottenham, uh, 12 wins, two draws, four losses, 24 points, uh, 24 points, 38 points. Liverpool in third place oh, with 10 wins, yeah. three draws, five losses with 33 points. Stoke, which is a couple of my old teammates that I played with before. Uh, congratulations to you guys uh, getting in there, doing pretty well. Nine wins, five losses, four, uh, five draws, sorry, four losses, 32 points. Wolfsburg, nine wins, four draws, five losses, 31 points. Ajax, seven, four, seven, 25 points. Do uh, Bayern Munich with 7 wins, 3 draws, 8 losses with 24. Malaga with 3 wins, 5 draws and 10 losses with 14 points. West Ham, 3 wins, 2 draws, 13 losses, 11 points. And Leicester at the very bottom, unfortunately, with 1 win, 3 draws and 14 losses. So, Boys, I'm not 100% sure what's happened with the playoffs in this league. So I'm going to pass it over to you guys. Obviously, I know it's Liverpool, Stoke, Wolfsburg and Ajax in the playoffs. But it's over to you what's gone off with it. Oh, well, obviously, Liverpool actually folded. Okay, Liverpool so, have folded, so they're not a team. Uh, who took that? Bayern took their place. Bayern took their and place, yep. Yeah. It was a very, very tight playoff, to be honest. Apart from the one game, and Wolfsburg beat... I think it was 1 0 in the final. So we'll, we'll, we'll also be joining them in the two big ones. So, if anyone didn't understand that, because obviously the uh, microphone breaking and everything, Wolfsburg beat Stoke in the final of the playoffs to go up. So it will be Benfica, Tottenham, and Wolfsburg going up into the Super League 1 next season, which is obviously going to be a really tight league and a good league next season with some big hitting teams in there. So. Obviously, we have to talk about the Europa League final and the Champions League final. Boys, I'm going to pass that over to you because obviously, I don't know. I only know one of the scores of the uh, Europa League, which is obviously my team Tottenham who are in there, who won. Um, but I don't know the Champions League, so I'll leave it over to you guys to talk about those. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll let the winner discuss that. <laughs> Cheers, <man. laughs> Yeah, so basically we beat Chelsea over two legs in the semi-final to... We thought we might actually get Atletico Madrid again in the final, but apparently they beat... Um, well, Hibernian beat them in the, in the semi-finals. I don't know what the score was over two legs, but uh, we ended up playing Hibernian in the final and winning 3-0. That Atletico Hib semi-final was a cracker. Uh, it, 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 I think Hibs won the first leg, 1-0, mm -hmm. and then... The second leg, Atletico were three three nil up, and ended up drawing three three, so they lost four three on aggregate. So they, they they blew a three goal lead at half time, I think it was, or something like that. I got told. Wow, incredible! It could have gone either way, really. Yeah, that's incredible. So, but either way, they they would have been losers. So, yeah, there you go. See, <laughs> Man City obviously <laughs> uh, sorted that out, didn't they? <laughs> Unfortunately, that uh... did that as well because. Sorry. No, 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 carry on, carry on. Not only that as well, going back to the league, league stats, uh, Hibernian, we actually knocked Hibernian out of fourth place for the Champions League for next season now because obviously we get in because we won it. Yes. yes. Yeah. Which is obviously a, a massive uh, 
kick in the teeth for, for them, obviously getting into the into the final, finishing fourth spot, and then getting kicked out by the team underneath them, and then getting beaten by them into the final, oh, which is obviously. Yeah. I remember our Tottenham vote in 2013. Though. Yeah, literally, it's like literally a Tottenham, <clears throat> Tottenham finest indeed. So obviously they are. We, we are, um. <clears throat> No, no, you go, you go. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, we, we, we weren't really playing out of full potential on Monday because we knew we weren't going to win the title. Oh, and here we go. Congratulations to Atletico Madrid anyway. Our main goal was to actually beat Atletico Madrid and mm. we beat them 3-0 comfortably. So that was a really good game. And then that's why we were hoping to get them in the final as well, just to make sure they didn't do the double. Yeah, that's fair enough, fair enough. But obviously... Hibbs said completely different to that one, so which is a uh, obviously made it a lot more better for you to get in a title-winning season like that. Well, the Champions League winning. The last yeah. week of the Super League was very exciting because there was four teams all on twenty. I think it was all on twenty-eight points or something, or something like that. And it was it was a close one. Yeah. I mean, we oh, beat Newcastle, I think it was eight yeah. in the last game of the season, and that just pushed us into that. If, we, if it had been 7 0, obviously we'd have been, we'd have been third. So, right, so it's all down to the goal difference in that game that helped you pretty much. Indeed, indeed. That's good, that's good. So, obviously, we've spoken right. about the Super League, Super League 1 and Super League 2, the winners of uh, Super League 1, which is Atletico Madrid, the winners of Super League 2 which was obviously Benfica, and then obviously the playoff winners from the Super League 2 of Wolfsburg and the Europa League final and Champions League final. What else do you want to go into next then, chaps? Because I'm leaving it all down to you. I'm just pressing the buttons and pointing it all on the screen for all you guys. This is you guys to decide what is going off. Sorry, I didn't know that one. So, <laughs> so what's next? What's next? What would you like to do next? It's all down to you guys. Oh, should we go team of the season? Should we get it? Yep. Yeah, do team of the season. There we go. So it's in two, then one. So you might as well do one first. Yeah. I oh, know he's changed it around. But. So that is obviously the Super League One team of the season. I will play that one again. So congratulations to everyone who has made it in. A big shout out to obviously the two guys I'm speaking into here today. They have obviously got into the team of the season. Um, I've got a funny suspicion that the only reason why these two are in the team of the season is because they're admins. <coughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> if that was the case, you'd have been in it. <laughs> Mate, the case why I wasn't in it is because I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, that's why. But yes, we'll play the team of the season really again joking. for you guys. And here we go. On there. there we go. So obviously, quite a lot of very good players in the Super League team of the season one. Obviously, not many other teams. I know that a lot of players from other teams didn't put their stats in. So obviously, it is hard if you haven't got your stats being put in. 
you can't be getting put into team of the week and team of the season. So guys are saying in the chat, I've just seen a few people saying rigged. Like obviously I know you're, yeah, you might be I'm, joking about it around it and stuff. Um, that's, it's understanding. Uh, but if you don't put the stats in, we can't give you stats and say you're top goal scorer. You might have scored 38 goals this season. Don't put the stats in. Don't put the proof in. Unfortunately, we can't put you into this. Obviously, the team of the week each each week, and then the main one, which is team of the season, which everyone wants to get into, having such a great season. That's that's down to you guys. Obviously, we obviously try and encourage you as much as possible to send your goals in, your tackles, your saves, and stuff as well for the chat show. Put them in for it and everything. If you don't put them in, we can't can't do much about it and stuff like that. So, congratulations to you guys. Obviously, I was just joking around saying that, being admins to get yourself yeah, into the team. But congratulations, well done to both of you. Obviously, you've both had a very good season with getting where you have with your teams and stuff. Obviously, I'm going to go down to the Super League 2, which is obviously right underneath. I will say, before you go on to Super League 2, is from next season, we do want every team that's going to be a manager to put stats in, just so we can have it more diverse than normal. Yeah, it definitely. would be so much better as well for like the videos and everything like that. Yep, that's fair. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I totally definitely. agree. I totally agree. Yeah, make it more of it. So we're going to Super League Two, which obviously is the league that I, uh, which quite a lot of the other team is going to. Ginger Assassin. Yeah, he's very well played, he did. I mean, that Fiku. King Pots. Jamming. Yeah, very, very good season. 30. Big up Purdy, team of season tapping. Kyle. <laughs> there we go. So congratulations to everyone in team of the season Super League 2. I'm going to play it all again. So that is obviously the team of the season two. So just, here's just a photo for you guys to be able to see all a bit more clearer on who got in where. <clears throat> so some very, very good teams. Um, I'm going to chug a spanner out there just for you guys now. Uh, put you both right on the spot. Um, is there any chance yeah. of doing a Super League 2 and a Super League 1 playoff game? One-off game? There will be. No, there will be. As okay. long as they all turn up, because we did that in IFL, and mm -hmm. the whole Super League 2 team didn't turn up. Okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> so if I can have promises that people are going to turn up, then I'll do it. <laughs> perfect. So, guys, if you are in the Super League 1 and the Super League 2 team of the season, obviously we want to try and get you guys into a playoff match, which obviously will be streamed, and we'll put it on the... Um, we'll do a live commentary over it. Super League 2 would piss over the Super League 1, apparently. I like it. I like it, to be fair. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Have to see. You know what you have to do? You have to go and prove it now. Purdy's, oh, Purdy's well. Yeah. As you can see on the team of the season, on the striker card, the two golden boots have got golden boots on the cards. Yes, I was going to... So that shows the top scorers for the goal. Yes. And the red card is the top player. Top for player. each league. Yes. So the two red cards are the top players because they've got record breakers. And the they'll be top. Perfect, Therefore. perfect. So the Chelsea goalkeeper was the record breaker. The Chelsea goal, uh, Chelsea striker was the golden boot. And then in 
this one, the Wolfsburg goalkeeper was the record breaker, and Benfica's striker was the Golden Boot winner. Um, Super League two top goal scorers. Do you want me to go into this now, or do you guys want to say anything else quickly? No, I'm I'm happy to go unless guys have got something to say. Yeah, um, I'm no, happy for you to crack on. Perfect, perfect. Right. Um, Purdy's just asked, do my goals from Dortmund transfer over across to the new team? I believe it doesn't, correct? No, because the team folded or you were released, the stats didn't carry over. We did that to try and stop people from um, club hopping. Yes. And obviously, the team folding is not your fault, but that's sort of down to the manager, so we yeah. can only apologise for that, but that's how it works. No, yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. I, I wasn't 100% sure. I thought it was. But I thought I'd uh, just pass it, up, just double checking everything. So obviously, Super League two top goal scorer. Uh, the only way the stats would count is if they got transferred. If they got yes, so if you got transferred over, then that would be perfect. Yeah, right. In. Top goal scorers: Kyle Purdy, twelve goals, thirteen goals, nineteen goals. So we'll play that again. So. Super League 2, pie, pasty face, with 12 goals, 1 assist, um, slow it down, so we've got 12 goals, 1 assist, 8 key passes, Purdy with 13 goals, 7 assists and 13 key passes, Kyle with 19 goals, 6 assists and 13 key passes, which is absolutely crazy, just thinking about it. Absolutely. I also joined late as well. Yes, that's what I was going to say, because obviously the Tottenham team obviously joined late, better. the Benfica team joined late, so uh, longer your face cam is on. Hold up. One momento. Let me go again then. Oh. Du, 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 du. Webcam stuff. Perfect. There you go. We'll go again. So there you go. Hold it on there for a little bit. Sorry, guys, that I put. I forgot that my webcam was there. So that's the first one. The second one. And the third and final one. There you go. I'll go down to the goal scorer one. I might as well just keep my webcam off for the minute because obviously it's going to cover my face, cover the stats and stuff. Uh, let me just move that back a second. So here we go. <clears throat> the top goal scorers from the Super League one. Uh, we've got Atletico Madrid. Um, it's big Raz with 17 goals and five assists with 12 key passes. We got Dilly. Is that Dilly Dilly 17? Dilly Dilly, yeah. 17 with 14 goals, seven assists, and 15 key passes. And then obviously, your boy, I'll let you announce it. Obviously, you are his manager. My mate, Astronomics with. 18 goals, 6 assists and 22 key passes. I mean, great season, but it could have been 35. <laughs> could have been 35. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that's that's really good. Yeah, the key pass is definitely pushed him up, man. Yeah, no, that's incredible. Matt, key passes there. Getting that. Don't really see that many key passes from strikers, but Jesus, that is a hell of a lot of key passes. And then, obviously, after that, we've got the Super League 2 top assists. Here we go. So, so we've got Kyle with 6 assists, 13 key passes. Second place. Oh, blimey, there he does. Second place, we've got Purdy, 7 assists, 13 key passes. And then we've got Jamin with 16 assists, 45 key passes. 42, yeah, I know. 
That is real. That, that is, is absolutely unreal. Mate, that's just different gravy. Absolutely different gravy. That's that that that's what five six key passes a game. Yes. Don, I don't think they, they join lands. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Very true indeed. Wow. So. I'd hate to be a centre back against that. Yeah. No, <laughs> definitely, definitely. So thoughts on the Super League Two then, guys. Obviously, you guys were in the Super League One. Uh, both of you were in the Super League One team this season. And then you will be going up against Super League um, 2, team of the season. How confident are you feeling? So, uh, on a big and go low, can't take my jump. I'll put my hand on it now. I heard absolutely none of that. You were breaking up really badly, unfortunately. Oh, sorry about that. It's, it's my internet. It's bad. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. We can hear you now. Loud and clear. Got you. N'Golo Kante will have jamming in his pocket. N'Golo Kante will have jamming in his pocket. Right, we'll wait and see about that. Gaz. Here, here first. It's fine. Your opinion, what do you think? From obviously seeing the assists, the key passes, and obviously the goals so far. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, Jamming's had a very good season because they took over like two and a half weeks from the end. Um, but... Division one, the League One that we had, I think even though it was randomised, it was a lot more competitive than people think. Mm -hmm. So, it'd be interesting to see how Tottenham and Benfica do along with Wolfsburg next season if it's the same people in League One. Yes, definitely. Definitely will be things. interesting. No, I'm looking forward to it. So, obviously, we'll go into the Super League um, one assists here now. Oh. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let me just whip that back a little bit so everyone can see it. So, Jose, third place with top assists, yeah. with 10 assists and seven goals, 25 key passes, which is absolutely amazing, really good. Uh, in second place, uh, their assists need to be relating to them passes. Then, yep. Second place, five goals, eleven assists, twenty-four key passes with dark logic, and in first place with three goals, twelve assists, fourteen key passes. It's Aquus. Is that right? Aquus. Uh, it's Aqua. Aqua. His name is. Yeah. Which is obviously a really good season for you guys. Congratulations. Obviously, Atletico Madrid did win the Super League too. So, I'm not surprised they've got a few players in the top goal scorer and obviously the top assist. So, congratulations you guys. I'll just let this play out until the very end. Perfect. So... Uh, the most assists for both leagues. Uh, top players now, this will be. This top players. So this is the Super League 2 top, top players. Midfielders. Defenders is just below, I think. Yep. Oh, I mean... Right, it's let me... Fast. I was just about to say, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, what is that? What did that say? Callum, it's... <laughs> right, so... <laughs> we got jamming... <laughs> Give me 30 seconds. Whew. We've got jamming three goals, 16 assists, 42 key passes. we got our African. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, 33 uh, interceptions, four key passes, 12 clearances, 19 tackles. I don't even know how to pronounce this one. Next gen. AFX. Next gen AFX. There we go. Two goals, three assists, 24 key passes, 10 interceptions, 20 tackles. Congratulations. That's really good. So the Super League one.
So we got Gilly, and CDM, Jose, and Camp. Right, here we go. So key players, Jose with seven goals, 10 assists, and 25 key passes with 16 interceptions, nine tackles with 535 points to the season. So obviously a very good season for yourself, playing the whole season. Um, was you playing the whole season in camp or was you playing in other positions? I played the whole season in camp. And this is your first I season. Actually, I, I started the season as a, I started the season as a striker. It's half and half. Half. Yeah. yeah. Half striker, half cam, but most of it was cam. Most of it was cam. So what was your thoughts on? I think it was about five games as striker. So what was your thoughts of moving off the position going into camp? How does it feel? Well, I actually played IFL as a CDM. Okay. So I had to completely change it. I went from CDM to striker. Yeah. Okay. Striker, which is obviously as a top goal scorer. Stats speak, stats speak for himself, man. Mm-hmm. Just done for this season. Can't complain. Yeah. And obviously me, me, oh, obviously me and Cam trying to put the ball through. But I will not. The three up front that we had this season did work quite well together when they wanted to. That's good then. That's good. Yeah. That was it. So that's all I can think. So we got. I can't really see that. Yeah, apologies for the comments. No, 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 no. Um, Amaza with 10 goals, 6 assists, 5, uh, 25 key passes. I believe that says 18 interceptions, but all the other stuff I can't really see. He got 590 team of the season points, exactly. 590. Yeah, I believe he got 20 tackles that. as well. 20 tackles. Yeah, it was 20 wow. tackles. Gilly. It was 20 tackles. Another yeah, Man City player. Lamb. Uh, two, two assists, seven key passes, 41 interceptions, seven clearances, 29 tackles, 594 team of the season points, which is absolutely insane. The amount of interceptions and tackles there is crazy. Obviously playing in that CDM role. Which is really, really good. To get yourself about and get them stuff. Um, going into the Super League 2. Best defenders, is this correct? Chaps? Uh, yes. Yes, Super League 2, best defenders. Yeah, defenders now, yeah. So we got Shaw with three goals, one assist, 19 interceptions, 31 clearances and seven tackles. We got Ginger Assassin with one goal, zero assists, 34 interceptions, 20 clearances, 16 tackles, which is insane. And then last of all, Iron, we got zero goals, zero assists, 22 interceptions, 13 clearances, and seven and eight tackles, sorry. Which is a very good season. Super League one defenders. Jerry Martin, a cool striker, cool. And Hugh Day. So. I think that video's got your connection. Yes. Yeah, it's got my internet, it? <laughs> it has. It definitely has. So, uh, Jerry with the one goal, 24 interceptions, 35 clearances, 15 tackles with 796 points. We got. Ooh, striker with 34 interceptions. That is my defender. 34 interceptions, 33 clearances. I believe that says 19 tackles and 770 points, which is an absolutely insane. Uh, and then the last one, Uday, five goals playing in defence, getting five goals, which is really good. Um, 29 interceptions, uh, 29, sorry, 27 interceptions, 27 clearances, 11 tackles, 737 points. All very, very good defenders up there. Very good defenders. I would um, just like to say quickly, if that's all right, um, defenders and goalkeepers did get a lot more points. Yeah, 
points for attackers this season, but moving forward, we will balance it out. Because, but with the way that it will balance out, and it will be a lot more fair next year. So, yeah, I'll probably the goalkeepers and defenders. Gaz is going through all the sheets, redoing everything, getting all the points right. So, it, it, so if a striker scores a goal, it's the same as a defender clearing a ball, because at the minute, defenders and players just up there. Yeah. The points, as you can see with the two players, they've pulled over. So. Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. Understanding. So at least everyone knows now then that is going to be all sorted. I mean, it's our first season. Like we said, we had ups and downs and we can only learn from it. And moving forward, I think it's going to be a better season for EFL altogether. Yes. Once we get it all sorted. Trial and error, first season. It's gone well. It's carried on. It's still alive. We're on to next season, isn't it, really? So how long are we having as a break? until the new season starts obviously there is um, other bits that are coming in the in the pipeline with pre-season stuff and obviously this week we are going to take a week off yes um, I'll speak a little bit about more about something going to happening this week but I'll speak about that at the end yep perfect. Um, but it'll probably be at least two or three weeks two or three until weeks. we start perfect perfect yeah. perfect so Super League 2 top strikers So Kyle, 19 goals, 6 assists and 13 key passes. Purdy, 13 goals, 7 assists, 13 key passes. Pasty face, 12 goals, 1 assist and 8 key passes. Congratulations guys. Uh, the Super League 1, the top attackers. Right, so <coughs> sorry. We have see that. What do you say, bro? Then hopefully you can see that. I can. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and get it to put. There we go. I know roughly what they are. Anyway. Yeah. So I've got the picture here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. At least you've got the picture. That's the main thing. So is Big Raz with 17 goals, six, five assists, 12 key passes. And 549 team of season points. We got Connor with four goals, nine assists, 24 key passes, 650 points. We got, how do you pronounce this one? Asinonics. Asinonics. Asin, asinon, <laughs> 18, yeah, <was> <laughs> 18 goals, six assists. <laughs> 200, uh, 200 years, 22 key passes, 668 team of the season points. Unfortunately, it's not 669, as we all wanted. We, I'm joking. So, congratulations <laughs> to you, boys. So, we have the Super League 1. And Super League 2, manager of the season. So, obviously, the Super League 1, manager of the season, goes to Dark Logic at Atletico Madrid. So, congrats. I just think that was without a doubt. They just absolutely stopped on the season. Yes, no, totally agree, obviously. Absolutely stunned it. Did seriously well. Gaz, any opinions, any thoughts? Obviously, you want to team the season, manager, winning Champions League title, the whole lot. What was your thoughts? Oh, I thought it was fair. Um... Me and Bean went through the managers and discussed what we feel was the best option. And both the managers we chose is the best option, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go down the blind another season. And just same as the other manager as well that you're going to show in a sec. Yeah, perfect, perfect. I just had a question from Purdy in the chat. Sorry, Purdy, I've only just seen that. i uh, put my webcam back on as well. Um, when is the Super League 1 versus Super League 2 game going to be? Uh, not quite decided that yet. Well, just afterwards, after this chat show, we'll make a little. I'll make an the Euro announcement at the same. Yeah, there you go. So after this chat show, we'll get it all sorted and get it all organised. So obviously, the Super League One manager slash captain of the team is going to be Atletico Madrid's Dark Logic. The Super League Two manager of the season. Goes to 
erase that picture. That is a great picture. <laughs> Absolutely hanging photo. <laughs> Mate. That's brilliant. Mate, that is fantastic. That just looks a spitting image of him as well. That is... is that's his player. That that's is his a, player. No, it's a spitting image of, image of him in real life as well. But I think, without a doubt, Benfica deserve it. I mean, they're not losing it. Top in the league. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, definitely, definitely. Speak for itself. Yeah, congratulations, you two. So, a raise will be the... Um, Team of the season two uh, winner. So, what have we got here? The little surprise here for you. Little surprise, right? I'm quite. This is the Ballon d'Or. The Ballon d'Or. Is this for both leagues together? This is. Yeah. yeah. It's the top people from each position, like goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, striker. Okay. Top points overall. Hold up. Whoa, steady on Tiger. Let's get the let's get that gone. Webcam. Just so you guys can see, here we go. So the Chelsea goalkeeper coming in with the goalkeeper's Ballon d'Or. Congratulations. I think he had eight hundred and twenty nine points or something. Over eight hundred points. Oh like that, yeah. That's, quite a bit, yeah. That's incredible. Congratulations. <sighs> Top defender from Man City, Joey. Congratulations. Well, we're never going to hear the last of that no, one. No, <laughs> we're not. We're not to do it at all. Top midfielder, Gilly from Man City. This looks like it's a Super League one. Or does he look like a Turkish barber in that picture? He looks like my barber, actually. He <laughs> literally looks like my barber down the road who is Turkish. <laughs> so that's brilliant. Gilly, congratulations, mate, on getting on um, Ballon d'Or for the mid... Is that just CDM or is that the whole of the midfield? The whole of the midfield. The whole of the midfield, congratulations. And the Ballon d'Or winner for the striker... Just call him Dan. Dan, him big down. Dan. He's going to gone and done it. Congratulations, guys. So I'll go and play it through from the very beginning so you guys can all see it through at the right pace. Obviously, I just wanted to stop it to show you guys on the stream to see what, so you can see it properly. Perfect, perfect. So, the Hall of Fame back onto the Super League 1 and Super League 2. So, obviously, there you go. Uh, chaps. Any more information on stuff? Need to do Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame? Yeah, oh, yes, 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 yes. On the sheets. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, no problem. Hall of Fame. I'm going to zoom this in for you guys. I'm going to leave you guys to do this one. Because I always butcher it. Can you see it all? Or do you need it a bit more clearer? I'll let Gaz explain how this is going to work. Sure. Have to watch on the uh, Twitch stream because it's bigger. But yeah. um, so the most league titles we've obviously put in Dark Logic from Atletico Madrid and Rican Arrays from Benfica. So yeah. they both got one league title, which is self-explanatory, obviously. Um, with people changing team names, I've decided uh, going with the managers rather than the actual teams, but then putting their teams in brackets. Yeah. So they'll get more recognition for the Hall of Fame. The most Champions League one is obviously Manchester City. Uh, Gilly was our manager, so you've got that. Best Europa League's one is Callum for Spurs. All-time team of the season, top team of the season manager. Now, obviously, there was two managers chose, so it was a tough decision for this one. But we went with Recon, strictly because they did go undefeated for the two and a half weeks that they took over as manager mm -hmm. most team of the season mm -hmm. players will not be in until like a number of seasons is done so I've left that one blank most team of the seasons team in one season now this is how many team of the seasons that a certain team has got 
a season. So at the moment, Chelsea is the first. So to beat that, say if Benfica had six people next season, they would be in there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing is the only trouble with that is we need. need okay, we keep emphasising this. We need teams to post stats, please, because it will affect the Hall of Fame. Please post stats. You scroll down for me, uh, Longy. Yep, I'm going down to most goals and assists bit now for you. Yeah, cheers, Max. So, most goals in the season. Um, this was done over both both leagues, um, which was Kyle from Benfica on 19 goals. So, congratulations, to Kyle. When I was going through the stats, you have had a fantastic season, mate. So. Well done to you. Um, you love Gaz on your case to sign you next season. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm playing a full season, mate. I'll probably be back up, I think. I haven't decided yet. Um, Sec one, most assists in the season. Again, obviously, this is done over both leagues. Uh, again, which was Jamin. That was 16 assists. So, congratulations to Jamin for getting 16 assists in that season, beating both leagues. Now, this one... I don't think this one will be beaten, and I know this is the first season already, but Jamin's 42 key passes seems like it's a hell of a lot to beat, so whoever does beat that, <laughs> good luck. It's that double, tap, that double tap wall I keep working from. Is that what it is? <laughs> well, hopefully I'll pull that out for FIFA 22. <laughs> <laughs> um, most clearances in the season is uh, Joey Martin. Now, that was quite close when it, I believe, uh, Bean. Yeah. Uh, yes, he was. Had 35, but I My think... player had 34. Striker. He had 34. 34. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, again, that could still be beaten. Mm -hmm. uh, but congratulations to Joey if he's watching. Um, first oh. tackle of the season is uh, King Par on 39. <laughs> At the start of this, we thought this was just going to be League Two, but then it ended up being League One as well. So, quite happy with that. Yeah. Um, Oh, Most interceptions in the season is Dark Logic with, from Atletico Madrid on 44, which I thought was quite He's impressive as well. What? Did you say? Anyway, so congratulations to Dark Logic on 44 Crazy. interceptions. For a second. You know, you're all right. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just uh, like next to it. You know, <laughs> You're hearing this as well. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm just. You want to see my face reaction, mate? I'm just saying, like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd go crazy. Um... <laughs> it's not the senile and dementia kicking in. I promise, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, Can you hear me now? So, yeah, yeah. What were you saying? You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that should be dark. It's dark logic. No, it's Dark Voids. It's a different player. Is that following that later? We'll have to look into that then. Um, most saved in the season was the Sneak Elk from Chelsea from 76. Mm -hmm. uh, so, congratulations to Elk for that. Now, the Ballon d'Or, obviously, you've seen all the Ballon d'Ors, and that's how, how that works. So, every time a Ballon d'Or someone wins a Ballon d'Or, say if Elk gets two, there'll be a two next to his name. So whoever gets the highest will be in that category Yeah. Uh, going forward for Hall of Fame. Just like how the Hall of Fame normally works, but obviously rather than do one Ballon d'Or, we decided to do it for each different areas. Yep, that's fair, that's fair. I think that's really good doing it not just for one individual person for the Ballon d'Or. I think it's good that you've done it for the goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders and obviously the uh, strikers and stuff gives it more of a, um, a challenge for everyone to aim for as well not just obviously team of the season but obviously you want to be the best out of the best exactly. out of all of it so yeah no I, I think that's really good with that oh, I wish you didn't say that my striker's never going to shut up about that man. what yeah, but you never know they might, yeah, the best they might the not best. get in <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's called him the best of the best now, that's it. Yeah, well, <laughs> for this season, he might not be next season, you know. He might not be there. He has to keep no, going. That's, you've got to keep true. it up, that's the thing. Can't be just a one-season wonder. That's what they've got to say. Mm. 
So yeah, though, congratulations to everyone who has obviously been obviously top goal scorer out of all the leagues, top assists, top key passes, top clearances, defending, tackling, Ballon d'Or winners in all those positions. Uh, well, what can I say? Here you go. Here we go. He's piped up. Be just jealous. Well, we know that. We know that, bro. We know. We know. We know he is. He wanted that strike, and you just kicked him out of it to make him go camp. But. We'll leave that for you guys to talk about that in the changing hey, room. Hey, if we want to do this, I'll get him on this chat show right now. <laughs> there we go, perfect. I want his striker. <laughs> I'm just like one player's looking for a new team next season. Hey, lads, at least we know I'm not one of the managers that just put himself striker. But Tom. Um... You did, though, didn't you, at the start? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> perfect. Um uh, <laughs> right, so what have we got next then, chaps? Uh, my... Yeah, I just want to make. Can... Am I jumping out? Chat or is my mic working okay now? Uh, still well, jumping a little bit. Uh, would, would you? I'll, I'll mention it. Do you want to explain it, Gazzy? I'll mention it. I know you don't really know what I've been talking about. What about the tournament? Next week. I don't know anything about it. Right. <laughs> I'll mention I'll it. Don't know it about it. Perfect. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know it. I we've know had, a little bit about it. We've had a lot of. Yeah, we've had a lot of positives at the minute with teamless. And then, uh, I mean, I'm gonna have to go on a little bit of a different subject now. When I've spoken to the Benfica players, and unfortunately, a member of their team did sadly pass away last week. Uh, his name was Jester, so we will be doing a memorial. Sort of tournament for him on Wednesday, and we kind of ask every team if they can please take part. Just, so to, just to sort of remember, no, just no. for the players and everything like that. So I just like to just like to let everyone know there will be a tournament next Wednesday in memory of the uh, Jester from Benfica. Did you so, get that long? Here? I got bits of it. Yeah. So obviously, uh, one of the Benfica boys um, has sadly passed away um, this well last week. Uh, is it this Wednesday coming up, or is it Wednesday the... It will be this Wednesday. So, Wednesday the 30th of June, we'll be obviously hosting a tournament. Um, so, every team from the EFL uh, would like you to all join in for the tournament for... Um, to obviously... Jester. For Jester to give a respect, and obviously the tournament is going to be named the Tournament for Jester. So obviously we hope he re yeah. he's obviously resting in peace and our thoughts obviously go to his family and stuff. So we are doing the tournament this Definitely. Wednesday. Where is it going to be starting at eight o'clock? It will be an eight o'clock. Yes. Perfect. It so will be, it will be an eight o'clock start this tournament, and if everyone can get in their teams from from it, would be absolutely amazing just to show the respect and stuff and go from there. Try and get as many people as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever's Definitely. actually watching, just spread the word. Let's get the tournament all remembered for Jester. Yes, definitely, definitely indeed. Um, anything else, chaps, that you want to talk about as well? Obviously, we've got the. Well, I, I, I would, I would talk a bit, but obviously, I'm a bit speaking up in real life at the minute. Life oh, broke, yeah. 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 So. <laughs> That's it from me. That's it from you, Gaz. The Europa League tournament, do you want to talk about that or are we saving that for another time to speak about? Europa League or Champions League? Uh, Euro tournament. The Euros. Oh, oh the Euros. Yes. That's been set now up. I believe that's obviously we're having a week's break. But that will start next week. Yeah, mm -hmm. next week. So, Especially with the Memorial Tournament we're doing as well for Chester. So. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the Memorial teams Tournament. Will out, teams will be released by Wednesday. Yeah, so the Memorial Tournament next Wednesday on the 30th of June and then the uh, the Euro Tournament, which will be starting Monday the 5th of July. Is that correct? Correct. That is correct. So now will be the, the, the Euro Tournament will be on the Monday and the Wednesday the games will be... And it will go over two weeks, Correct. Two weeks, yeah, that's yeah, correct. Two over weeks. two weeks. So it'll be Monday the 5th of July and Monday, no, and Wednesday the 7th of July and then it'll be the following week after the 12th, Monday the 12th and Wednesday the 14th of July for the Europa League tournaments. Europa League, uh, Euros tournament. 
which obviously is going to be a lot in the pipeline coming up and obviously with the rest break and stuff to get everyone ready to start doing trials and ready for the new season which will be starting probably the end of july correct players yeah players will not be needed will not need to be signed for this yeah that's you for both tournaments or is it just you want. for the it's for both tournaments for both, for both. yes same with the memorial just for the memorial let's just try and get 300 players in a bloody tournament even yeah. if it comes to the 24 32 team i'll do it and also let's try and keep things respectful as well like because mm -hmm. it is for good cause that we're doing the tournament before. exactly exactly yes definitely. should we do an entry fee no i'm joking no, <laughs> not an entry fee um anything else chaps that you guys I'm want joking. to talk about no that's it for me yeah that's it for me as well Longy. perfect perfect right then guys that is the first team of the season episode of the efl tournament efl tournament efl league uh, it's been a long season a lot of ups and downs for certain teams obviously a lot of teams folding and then be restarting again but we finally done the first season over uh, it's been a very good season obviously next season will start at the end of july correct yes end of july and then we'll and have hopefully, yeah. hopefully get another season in after that before fifa 22 is that correct Hopefully, I'm hoping for another two seasons. So hopefully another two. That's my aim. So hopefully another two more seasons aim. until. On... Sorry, bro. I let you go. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. I said just said depending on when they actually decide to. I know it's normally October, isn't it? September, October they bring it out. Yes. So we've got a good, good two or three months to try and see what we want, but we'll have to see how the time goes. Yes, definitely, definitely. So. We'll organise all that and go from there. Um, traps, that's it from me. I'm going to pass it over well, to you guys. To... Yeah, one yeah. thing, uh, sorry, Longy, one thing Callum said in the uh, chat. Um, the general chat is turned off for everyone anyway, apart from like admins and people who's got managers tabs already. So the majority of people won't be able to see general. That will be sorted this week. Um, that will be sorted in the next few days. Callum's obviously just messaged saying are we getting the managers on or not. Mm, no, because they're late. They're meant to be here at seven o'clock. They tell them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, Callum. <laughs> Sorry, Cal. Sorry, Cal, bro. Right, yeah. Next year. Next year. Next season. <laughs> Next season, mate. Next season, indeed. So obviously, See yeah. See if you can come do something in Super League One, Callum. Big statements, big statements. Well, there will be a bit of a rebuild, so do not worry about that, Cal. We'll be all good, bro. <laughs> right, chaps, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much to everyone tuning in and all the very best to everyone who has obviously got this. Well, uh, all very well done for getting the team of season and the Ballon d'Ors. Guys, thank you very much, Jose. Thank you ever so much, boys, for joining in. And thanks for obviously having me to do this for, for, for the league. Really, pre we, well, really do appreciate it. Guys, I'm going to leave you guys to say the goodbyes. Right, so I'd just like to say, everyone, I'm looking forward to next season. Obviously, we'll get this, get everyone involved, and then I will release the Euros teams by Friday. So everyone can get their teams ready at the weekend and know what team they're going to be. Yeah. That's all from me. So. And congratulations to everyone, and let's look forward to season two. Hopefully, and obviously, this Wednesday tournament is the first one to come up. Let's look forward to that first. Yes, definitely. Definitely looking forward to the Wednesday tournament. Right, guys, thank you ever so much, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.